Diving into gross income. What is gross income? What constitutes gross income? We'll see this and much more. I'll obviously bring in the tax forms as well, show you where the items are on the actual forms. Remember, you don't have to memorize the forms, but it does help to understand them, understand the layout. They are essentially just one big calculation. That's what the forms are. So if you memorize the tax forms and you're familiar generally where all the items go, it can very much help you to understand, okay, these are the items that constitute gross income. This is where everything goes. This is above the line, this is below the line and everything in between. Gross income, this is the total income earned by an individual. So think of it like your paycheck. What are your gross wages? It's the total earned before any deductions such as health insurance or taxes or anything. Exemptions or adjustments are considered. Obviously, we have lessons that will deal with other things such as exemptions, deductions, all that good stuff. But for right now, we're focusing on what's considered income. What's just not worrying about reducing that income, just overall gross total income. This is going to include all sources of income, such as wages, salaries, tips, interest, dividends, rental income, capital gains, oh, and so much more. Now, for businesses, gross income refers to total revenue earned from sales, services, and other business activities minus the cost of goods sold. This is focusing on gross income for individuals, but hey, it doesn't hurt to mention about corporations as well. Gross income serves as, as the starting point for determining taxable income. That is true. I mean, we have gross income, then we have adjusted gross income, then we have taxable income. Putting it super generally, the higher the gross income, the higher taxable income is, which in turn impacts the amount of taxes owed. Now, the difference between gross income and AGI, what is AGI? We'll talk about that much more as well. AGI is the gross income minus any certain adjustments, which we will talk about, which are allowed by the tax code. These adjustments, also known as above the line deductions, can include contributions to IRAs, student loan interest, alimony payments, and a few other things. We'll talk about this in our lesson on adjustments to income. The difference between gross income and AGI lies in the fact that AGI takes into account deductions, whereas again, and I'm saying this repeatedly, you might be saying to yourself, hey, Nick's getting annoying, but I'm saying this so you really memorize it, you really understand the difference, you don't forget it. Gross income is just total income overall, whereas adjusted gross income does take into account certain deductions. A lower AGI can result in a lower taxable income, a lower of either of these types of income can result in lower taxable income. For practical visualization purposes, here is our total income, which is gross income, and then we've got our adjusted gross income. Now you might say, well, these lines are so close to each other, what's the difference? Well, we see here that this line, line 10, and again, you don't have to memorize the line number, it's just helpful to see, this includes deductions from Schedule 1. And Schedule 1, Again, we've got a, a whole other lesson dealing with what those deductions could be, but that includes a lot of different deductions, which could significantly change your total income from your, which is also known as your gross income, from your adjusted gross income. Yeah, take a look, make sure you're familiar generally with the layout of how this works. Uh, this will also help you with your tax preparation for yourself in the future. Oh, never hurts to take an extra look. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material. We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence, knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.